Hi, in this video we're going to go through the 2003 AMC 10A problem number 20. I chose this question because it works with different bases and I wanted to illustrate a little bit about the basics of how that works. A base 10 three digit number N is selected at random. Pause there and think about what that means. It means you're dealing with the numbers from 100 to 999. That is that there are B minus A plus 1, which is 900 such numbers. Okay? Which of the following is closest to the probability that the base 9 representation and the base 11 representation of N are both three-digit numerals? So where do you kind of begin with this? We can start with, uh, we're picking a number out of these 900, therefore the denominator is something out of 900. The next thing we want to understand is what does it mean to have different base? Um, let's look at base 10 for a second. When you write 4 to 31, what does that mean? It really, in base 10, you can think of it as 4 times 10 squared plus 3 times 10 to the first plus 1 times 10 to the 0. And then that's what it, it means in base 10. What if I made the same number, but I made it base 9 then? All that's going to happen is all these 10s are going to change to 9s. So it would be 4 times 9 squared plus 3 times 9 to the first plus 1 times 9 to the 0. And using this, I can convert it back to base 10. This is 4 times 81, which is 324. 3 times 9 is 27, and 1 is, of course, 1. If I add 28 and 324, I get 352. Again, but now that's a base 10 number. Okay? So now that we understand that, base 11 works the same way. If this was 431 base 11, it would be 4 times 11 squared plus 4 times 11 plus 1 times 11 to the 0 and so on. Now we need to find how many base 10 numbers are both three digits in base 9 and base 11. Let's start with what's the smallest base 9 three digit number? It would be 100. But that's going to equal 1 times 9 squared plus 0 plus 0. And that's only going to equal 81, not a three digit base uh, 10 number. So we probably aren't going to be restricted by the 9, but we are going to be restricted by the 11. Because this is 1 times 11 squared plus 0 plus 0 equals 121 base 10. So this number, 121 in base 10, is the smallest base 10 number that we can choose. Um, it will definitely come out to be, uh, it's greater than 81, so it will be at least 3 digits in base 9. And since base 11 represented the lower bound of numbers that we want, we can probably expect base 9 to be the upper bound. And there's two ways you could get it. You could do 8, 8, 8 base 9 and calculate. Um, by the way, if you're not sure this works, uh, the numbers here, the digits, if you will, in base 9 cannot be 9 or higher. Right? So that's why in base 10 we have 0 to 9. In base 9 you have 0 to 8. In base 11, you actually have 0 to 10, and they typically call 10, uh, A represents the digit 10 in that case, the number 10. So we don't have to worry about that, though. Um, instead of doing this, though, a better method is to use 1,000 base 9, which is too big, and then subtract 1. So if I do this, this is much faster to calculate. It's simply 1 times 9 cubed plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, which is... 729 base 10. So 729 is actually too big because it puts us in a four digit base 9 number, but it must mean that 728 would be equal to this because it's one less. So our upper bound is now 728 and we can subtract to get that it's about 607, which is approximately two thirds, which is again a approximately uh, 0.6 repeating, or 66%. Um, so 0.6 repeating, um, the 6 will round up the other one to give you about 0 0.7. I hope this helps a little bit with the base representation questions. 